Hi guys and welcome back to Arsenal Army. So I'm here after that important win against Wolves. It was very scruffy, but we got the job done and that's the most important thing. So I'm going to go through the players' ratings and talk about their performances. Starting from the back with Raya, uh, one of the man of the matches to me for Arsenal. Made that very important save in the first half. Um, basically would have changed the aspect of the game if that went in. So everything he had to do, he done well. Obviously, he wasn't in the game 24-7. Um, bit of a quiet period for him in some parts of the game, but everything he had to do, he done it well. So an eight. The two centre-backs, they looked like they were back to their best in moments in the game. Both of them had a lapse of concentration, uh, giving the ball away. But we can look past that since we kept the clean sheet. So they'll both get a seven from me. Onto the full backs with Ben White. I thought he had a very decent game. Linked up with Saka and Odegaard very well. Uh, also let Saka do his attacking job. Uh, having one-on-ones with the defender. Which is always nice to see. I will say his final ball was a bit poor today. That's why he's only getting a seven and not an eight. But apart from that defensively he was good. Uh, left back Kivior started off very shaky in that first half, didn't look too good at all. I did think maybe it would even come off in the second half because of that first half, but he grew into the game and made uh, important couple tackles, so I'll give him a six. With the midfield, Declan Rice, another contender for man of the match for me. Uh, early in the game, don't think he was at his best. I don't really see him that comfortable as a holding midfielder, a central defensive midfielder. But definitely in that second half and then definitely in those last 20 minutes, he looked brilliant, took the game at the scruff of its neck. I feel like when he's allowed to advance up the pitch and drive with that ball, he can be a world-class player and definitely one of the best we have for doing that job. So an eight. Um, Havertz, on the other hand, dropped into midfield this game. I hate him in that position. I don't know why Arteta is being so arrogant with this. Like We don't look at our best at all when Havertz is playing in the midfield. Not his fault. He's not a midfielder and definitely not good at lying in that defensive role. I love when he plays up front. Those attacking runs always help the team out of a press. But in the midfield, didn't look too comfortable. So he'll get a six. Uh, Odegaard, first half again, didn't look great. A uh, bit of a poor run of form for him the past three games, but did get that important goal late on in the second half. So it's not as bad as it sounds. So seven. On to the attack, starting with Trossard. Uh, missed a chance early on in the game, which could have seemed to be really important, but did make up with it for that excellent finish. I do believe there was a bit of luck in it, but we're not going to look too far into it and we're just going to take the goal how it came. So he had a decent day. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, on the other hand, looks like he's lacking a bit of confidence in my eyes. Did create the first goal for Trossard, but again, I sense a bit of luck in that with a failed ball roll or a drag back to say. But yeah, it doesn't look like he has a lot of confidence right now. So... I don't really know what to make of that performance. He didn't really do much in the game other than that assist, so it was six. And Saka, um, it's hard to say for him. He does look like he's still suffering from a bit of burnout. He does look tired in parts of the game. Um, it's partly Arteta's fault to me as well, because he doesn't even take him off, even though we are winning. But there's parts of his game that looks very dangerous when he gets in behind. And he definitely had parts of that game today. And he was definitely getting kicked about the pitch as well, which we won't talk about the referee because they should have had a red card in my eyes. And Gomez was also kicking him left and right up the pitch. So not entirely his fault, but he'll get a six. Then on to the subs. They didn't have the most time in the world, but Martinelli did have a good chance right at the end of their game, which I wish he did score to boost that confidence. He hasn't looked too much like himself this season, to be honest, but did come on and I suppose he had a little impact. And with part eight, it's just good to see him back on the field. I did think he was going to start this game and I wouldn't mind it if that did happen. But it's good just to see he's getting a few minutes just, just in case we need him at the end of the season that he's fit and ready. Arteta, I don't 
like the midfield today, to be honest with you, didn't really help with our possession or control in it. But Kai Havertz is a midfielder, so I can't bl blame Kai Havertz for it. And Declan Rice, to me, looks like he prefers that box-to-box -box role. But Arteta did get us back to winning ways, which is always important, and we're back top of the league. So there's always positives. So I, I wouldn't blame Arteta for anything today. He done well, and I'm sure he'll be happy with the three points, even though the performance wasn't great. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.